Today we hear how Jesus delivers today's gospel with an amazing clarity, a real directness. At the very start, we hear how Jesus says, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him. It's this directness, it's this strong desire that has always attracted me to people like yourselves, to people like the Ethiopian eunuch in today's first reading. People who are truly searching for God, even when they feel that they don't have the answers, when they're searching to understand. It's this reading from the Acts of the Apostles that we hear how the angel of the Lord tells Philip to get up and head south on the desert route. That's all he got. But unlike many of us, he doesn't ask for more information. He doesn't become paralyzed with fear for what he doesn't know. But instead, he obediently sets out. That's when the Spirit provides the second instruction. Go up with that chariot. Again, how many of us are that open? How many of us are that trusting to follow this limited information and to act in faith and to be people of action? I believe it's this faith, this openness that allows Philip to see that high court official, to hear him reading from the prophet Isaiah, and then to ask the question, do you understand what you're reading? I think all of us can benefit from being asked that question. Perhaps we can even modify it when we're at Mass and ask the question, do we understand what we're hearing in the Word of God? I love the eunuch's response. It could be ours too. How can I understand unless someone instructs me? My brothers and sisters, in each of our families, God has given us parents and grandparents and others. And he's given us the responsibility, but also the gift of being able to teach the message of Jesus Christ. And though most of us aren't theologians, we do have the grace of God. And we do have the ability to ask others when we're stumped with the questions. We can read, we can watch videos, we can go to conferences, and many other ways to grow in a knowledge of Jesus Christ that can be shared with our family members so that like Philip, we too can proclaim Jesus Christ to our loved ones. One other thing that I noticed in this reading, and it is that as Philip and the eunuch are talking, that chariot is moving, much like our lives, as we seek to understand God at work in our families and beyond. In the end, Philip, like we, have heard the call of God. And Philip has become the one who made it possible for one man to move from interest in God to friendship and eternal life. So today, whether we feel more like that man seeking answers or Philip the teacher, be assured that God is at work if only we are listening, and if only we are willing to follow him and the people that he sends along the way, may God bless you and your families this holy day. <laughs>